Imagine yourself in the shoes of an engineer in charge of designing a bridge. Right from calculating the various loads, you'll have to investigate different forms of bridges, estimate the forces of nature, select appropriate structural materials, and so on. You'll need to make numerous design choices for the safety and longevity of the bridge before you finalize the design that is the strongest, lightest, and most economical. In fact, bridges and aircraft both follow the strict laws of physics and the forces of nature as beautiful feats of engineering. Now can you imagine what it will take to build an aircraft? The co-architecture of an aircraft and industrial system means to have in mind all aspects of making the industrial system the most economic sustainable, the most environmental sustainable and the most social sustainable system, people in mind. But that means also that it needs to be resilient and an important aspect of all that is the first time right way of working, in other words, uh, zero defect manufacturing. And this is all about this project. Having in the early phases already all the stakeholders uh, together and uh, setting it up in a way supported by digital means that we can make decisions, the right trades between the various uh, impact of the processes, the technologies, the right sequences, keeping in mind the logistic flows, but also having the right level of automation uh, planned in order to come up with a result which is indeed zero defect and first time right. Current design processes and digital solutions do not support this approach efficiently enough. Aircraft design and manufacturing system design are not fully integrated, which sometimes leads to quality issues being discovered late in the production process, meaning time-consuming revisions and additional costs. Quality project aims to demonstrate how European industry can improve its competitiveness advantage and meet Industry 4.0 targets by building unique zero-defect manufacturing strategies with orchestrated open platforms and digital enablers across all lifecycle phases. The objective of Airbus Pilot in Quality Project is to have a trade space framework for autonomous quality manufacturing systems design using MBSE method and semantic web technologies. This framework will help engineers to explore all design possibilities in collaboration with all product and manufacturing domains, overcoming bottlenecks of knowledge management, interoperability and decision making. First, existing documents and information from the current assembly processes are collected, collating existing knowledge through ontology-based solutions. The engineer's knowledge of how they design the assembly process is also included, describing the rules and constraints they follow. With that, the system is ready to support a new assembly process design. A new design starts by receiving an aircraft concept and defining performance targets that the engineer wants the manufacturing system to achieve, like the number of aircraft produced per year and the level of automation in the assembly process. This triggers generative design algorithms, which use the knowledge captured in the trade space framework and propose to the engineer all possible assembly process designs that could fulfill the performance targets. The engineer can then trigger the automatic generation of several simulation models and simulate the assembly process to verify whether or not it will fulfill the performance targets. Any of the assembly process options can be verified in a 3D context to confirm expectations and quality. The process described results in a manufacturing system design that best meets the requirements set. The easy reconfiguration of the manufacturing process will be compliant with autonomous quality concepts. Three of the most important points related to industrial architecture are the definition of interfaces, the consistency of how we define our figures of merit, and the automation, or actually the consideration of as large a design space as possible. 
what Quality is doing with these regards is that it's standardizing our interfaces so that they are pre-defined and or reusable. Uh, it's giving us a good reputability for our processes and additionally it's giving us a way to automate the boring parts of assessing all of the options that are resulting from our requirements in an automated manner. The model-based systems engineering methods uh, together with the trade space framework are a good foundation uh, for us towards the modern way of working for achieving a zero defect manufacturing uh, system. We also have seen that uh, we have with these new technologies a good uh, opportunity of learning of state-of-the-art processes and are able uh, to take this as a stepstone to our future developments of future aircraft.